So Kim Kardashian is now speaking up and says she's reevaluating her relationship with luxury fashion brand Balenciaga. This is all about the company's recent ad campaign, which featured photographs of children holding teddy bears dressed in bondage gear. The company has since apologized, and people turned to Kardashian on this one as she has long been a brand ambassador with the company. But now, I don't know, who knows? Chloe Milas is tracking this one. She's joining me now. There's a lot of people obviously talking about this. Kim Kardashian is now speaking up. What is she saying? Well, look, I mean, Kim Kardashian is one of the most famous faces, one of the most famous celebrity ambassadors for Balenciaga. She's walked in their shows. She's always wearing their outfits. So a lot of people who follow her, she has over 70 million followers on Instagram, they were commenting, a flood of comments over the past few days, saying, why are you not speaking out? Why are you not saying anything about this? Because if you see these images of the children with these teddy bears that are dressed in these bondage outfits, I mean, it's really unbelievable that they even made it so far as to actually get published and get posted and actually go viral like it did. So Kim said, like you said, Kate, that she's reevaluating her relationship with the company and that she actually got on the phone with the executives to tell them, you know, this is incredibly serious and how are you going to make sure that this doesn't happen again? Now, she didn't reveal the details of that call, um, but, you know, she said um, that, you know, based off of their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with and the actions I am expecting to see them take to protect children. Now, Balenciaga is saying, we sincerely, we sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused, adding our plush bear bags should not have been featured with children in this campaign. Now, they say that, that Kate, they're going to take take action, um, you know, file a lawsuit and go after those that they said put this campaign together and that they didn't have anything to do with those images, so they say. Well, let's see where the buck stops on that one. It's good to see you, Chloe. Thank you really much, you. very much. I appreciate it. And high fashion label Balenciaga under fire for a disturbing photo shoot featuring kids and teddy bears in bondage gear. Why Kim Kardashian is now speaking out. Teddy bears in bondage gear. One upscale fashion house is facing serious backlash for its holiday ad campaign. Now Kim Kardashian says she's reconsidering her relationship with them. Balenciaga brand ambassador Kim Kardashian says she is disgusted and outraged as the luxury designer faces growing backlash, backlash over this holiday campaign. It features kids cuddling teddy bears that are dressed in bondage gear. CNN entertainment reporter Chloe Malas is here. Chloe, we know Kim Kardashian's a mother of four. She's saying she's reevaluating her relationship with the brand. But the big question here is why? Why would anyone think this might be a good idea? Well, so Balenciaga is a massive international fashion brand. And like you said, Kim Kardashian, one of their most famous ambassadors, most famous faces. But how did it ever get from an idea photographs being taken and then actually becoming a published campaign. There are so many questions left unanswered, but here is what Balenciaga is saying. They're saying in part in a statement to CNN, we sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. Our plush bear bags should not have been be featured with children in this campaign. We've immediately removed this campaign from all the platforms. They also went on, uh, Anna, to talk about um, in a separate statement that they are going to be pursuing legal action um, against the agency and the designers and those that put together this campaign that they claim that they didn't have any creative vision or control over this. And in one of the photos that has gone viral, there is a Supreme Court case decision uh, to do with child pornography, the act, like uh, actual uh, documents, right, copies of it in one of the photographs, right? So what is the intention? What is the message behind it? We still don't understand. Um, and, you know, Kim Kardashian saying that she's been on the phone with executives from Balenciaga to talk about the gravity of the situation, that she's reevaluating re her relationship uh, with the brand going forward. Now, something that's really interesting is that the photographer, uh, Gabrielle Glamberti, he has come out and he has said, look, I photographed the majority of these images, but I had no creative control over over it, uh, saying, I am not in a position to comment on Balenciaga's choices, but I must stress that I was not entitled in whatsoever manner to neither choose the products nor the models nor the combination of the mm. same. Going on to say, as a photographer, I was only and solely requested to light the given scene, take the shots according to my signature style. Again, these so are too bizarre. I mean, somebody signed off on this. Somebody thought it was okay to publish these pictures. How did this ever happen?
a massive brand and we have seen you know fashion houses before do things that are unsettling and come out and apologize later but this was one of the most extreme situations that I have seen and they still have a lot of questions left unanswered. It was the point to be provocative or was there a bigger message they were trying to send whoever is they thank you Chloe Malas I know thank you're going to keep looking for those answers and if you get them come on back.